Hey, fire signs. This is for my single fire signs in lieu of Valentine's Day. Alright. <laughs> so, <coughs> this could be a general. And then I will do, like, separate messages for each of you. Alright. <laughs> and I am not in charge of the messages that I receive. <laughs> Alright, let's go. This is for my fire sign singles, please. Aries Leo Sag. Whoop! <laughs> you guys seen that, right? The sun card automatically out. That's good. Leo front and center. Maybe this will actually be a really good reading. <laughs> All right. With the higher font and the six of wands, looks like marriage. Someone may be engaged, so I mean, may, you're technically single. We're gonna see how the rest of this falls out, though. Or you're about to meet someone who is in marriage because you've done the inner work. We have the Queen of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, Damn it. Temperance, but the opposite side, the Two of Pentacles, and I'm going to get one more, the Knight of Swords. All right, so that may be the underlying message. Let's go there. Um, you really want this, okay? You really want to find someone to be happy with, children with, marriage, all that good fairy tale stuff, right? You're ready. You're absolutely ready. You want to go. Then I have Temperance here with that side of herself saying it's not time. It's not time. While this person may be what you want, there's someone that's feeling like they don't have enough to proceed, right? I don't have enough to offer. Someone's also juggling two people. Um, they really want this commitment. Sorry about my burnt finger. Really want this commitment? <laughs> But you can't be impulsive with it. And I'm saying that. Like, you you feel good. You feel energized. You're ready. You're ready. You're ready. But then I really have her, like, stepping up here in the middle saying, no, it's not time. I feel that's for Leo specifically. Could be wrong. Can't take half the deck. Tell me more. Sagittarius too, sorry. It's in here. All right. We gotta work on our finances and our personal growth a little bit more before we can hop into marriage. Alright, again, our home. Let's focus a little more on our home, our abundance, our business. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus is over there. Okay, this is the other side of death. That is death giving you another chance. This is another chance. Don't mess it up by being impulsive and not getting your ducks in a row if you're talking to someone. Right, this is the four of wands but the opposite side. This is the happy side. This is watch what you're doing. You're not seeing everything. You're trying to kind of rush into this and you're not ready. You get one chance here. One shot. Are you fulfilling your passions and your purpose? Okay. This could literally be like up to a year before you're completely ready. Slow and steady wins the race. You're getting that one shot. Whether that's you're recon reconnecting with an old person or the new person seems like a great catch. 
We have, I'm going to clarify that. We have the Ten of Swords looking at the past hurt. We did not die, right? We're not seeing clearly, though. We're not learning that lesson. That's why they're saying we have the Tower, too, okay? So you could have literally just gotten out of a marriage that you thought was super happy. That's all you want, blah, 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 blah. Don't F this up. We're giving you someone that's meant for you. They're coming. That's Aries, Capricorn, and Scorpio. But jumping, I keep telling everyone, jumping from a frying pan to another frying pan without doing the inner work and getting your stability back in order, that's just a toxic cycle with a different person. That's not being able to give your full attention, your full love, everything. Okay, you got to be able to see clearly through that. All right, that is the Will of Fortune and the Magician. Everything is on your side in this dynamic right now, whether you're talking to someone new or rekindling, because this, again, is for the singles. So keep that in mind. They're on your side, but they want you to temper the emotions. They want you to check your emotions. They want you to get everything. Come on now. In line again. All right. They want you to be able to be stable emotionally, mentally, physically. Smash some goals that you've had set, right? This is also traveling. This is traveling. This is your car, getting in your car, going to see this person. One of these little sphinxes knows where they're going. The other one does not have their face up. So it's like cross-purpose. All right. It's almost like, okay, you're battling with another person. Could be the divorce or whatever, but you're seeing clearly. Okay, you know what obstacles you have to get past. So that's good. That's good. Now we're going to go into separate meanings. Sorry. Just trying to give a heads up for your singles for Valentine's Day. All right. So first we're going to do Aries. What's a personal message about all this that Aries needs to know? You're making plans to go on a venture, to leave something behind. There's new territory and new people to go see. You've got your eyes set out there in between the horizons. We have Pisces here. Okay, Pisces Cancer. Be very careful because the sun is being blocked. She has two things in her hands, right? One is for you and one is not. Do not be tricked. Do not be fooled with the glitz and the glamour. Do not be impulsive. You need to think clearly. You may have an idea, but is it thoroughly thought out? With the Seven of Swords, someone is not being upfront and honest. Someone is planning to do something secretly. This could be your ex or you. You know, you're trying to go about it without telling everything, which that's cool. That's cool, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work in your favor. It's going to be a defeatist, a manipulative thing. Um, it is someone from your past because I have justice here. I have um, the husband or wife with heartbreak. Are you thinking about getting with someone that you used to be married to or that you thought you were going to marry? Check motives. Check, because everything's just an idea right now. And not everything is being um, brought out into the open, okay? Yeah, it's not time yet. There's some financial things you need to work on. These are all the underlying cards here, okay? You don't want to jump into that. Something that had died is being resurrected, and it's not time to get back with them. My Venus is in Aries, and Taurus was pretty much spot on with that. I'm a Taurus with be, uh, Aries Cusp and Aries Venus. All right, <laughs> Leo. Leo, what's your personal message, Leo? Five of Pentacles. But this side, he is inside the church. He is inside the church. He is in the warmth. He has the lantern to see. Um... This is just all in his own mind. 
you're in your own mind about getting with someone new or being sad about it or having to move. You know what I mean? A uh, loss. What's up? Yeah, you're not seeing clearly. Okay, this is the sort of truth. This is, you know, there's some mountains in your way. You got to kind of scale. But it's like you need to get your thoughts in order here. Again, we have this coming out. Right? There's there's someone that you're speaking to or something that's kind of trying to push this in. You, you guys are not stable to do that. Not yet. Okay, there's things that have not been dealt with. That are not seen clearly. Right. Temperance again, being guarded. Okay, not the time. This is for Leo and like Aquarius, kind of, Leo Sagittarius is what I'm picking up here. She's guarding you from the hanged man that stepped off because it's not time yet. The heart is not completely healed. We need to do some alone time. All right, something about um, stepping out and mingling with people. Fighting addictions, fighting a toxic past, staring them down clearly to know how to move forward. This person that you're talking to or you or whatever, they have addictions. Kind of going to lead you down that path, so please be careful. It's almost like you need a completely different fresh start. You need to go a completely different way. Um, spend some time alone with yourself because this is for singles. Singles and mingles. You need to go mingle with a different crowd. They're trying to protect you from this crowd. You need a different crowd. The devil just come out as I went exactly. Exactly. The people you've been putting yourself around, the people you've been dating, the pe person you're talking to, whatever. Toxic. Addictions. Um, likes to fight. Likes to argue. That's what they think about. Very impulsive. Very childish. Going to bring you another heartbreak. Another pain to add to the tally for you. That's not okay. Leo, that's not okay. All right. So just watch who you're hanging with. The the type you've been trying to get with. You're going to bring pain again. Alright, can I have a separate message for Sagittarius, please? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more content. The more subscribes, the more content. The more time I put into this. But I also do the reading readings. But I'm devoting my time to these four tonight. Sagittarius, please. Someone's trying to get your attention, Sagittarius, in that tower. I don't want it to focus. Over in the corner by that bird. Someone's trying to get your attention, but you're so focused on your own stability, you may miss it, which is cool. Right? You may um, have tried to get into a relationship and, like, you thought it was love. Just like someone keeps being in the corner trying to get your attention, but it's like your intuition is not directing you towards them. Um, well, your heart isn't there yet. It's more like you're on your own uh, financial goals, I think. You kind of enjoy being by yourself. Maybe having some nighttime rendezvous. Rendezvous. But it's like, I'm good. Like, I see you over there. That's cool. Hello. I see you. Um, definitely have someone who is admiring you, trying to get your attention for sure. Right? That is the Queen of Swords. But you're being kind of cold towards it because you're like, nah, dude. I'm, I mean, I see you. You're cool. You're cool, but I got plans. I want to go on an adventure. I got plans. We can talk. We can stay open, but I'm like, I'm all about the spiritual journey. I'm all about my coin, my business. Right? There's something coming back up being offered to you, right? Sag, because this is death on the other side. Um, revitalization, uh, taking back your power, your plans. 
you know, giving to yourself, giving to the right causes. The Wheel of Fortune with the Magician yet again. You're going places, you're, you're, you're planning your travel, your finances. You, it's like you know where you want to go. I, I'm not really so sure whoever this is for that you are wanting a relationship. Right now it's more like you want to stay free, free and single and ready to mingle. Yeah. There's some uh, like contracts, some business. Maybe you're just trying to raise your kids. You know, something here. Like you're trying to do everything fair in a balanced manner. Yeah, you got plans. You're going to travel. And it may be to this person that you have a small connection with, but you're keeping it open. You see them over there. You recognize them over there. But it's like you know you have something to keep building before you take that on. You understand you guys can have a small connection, but you may be the one that's like, I'm not completely ready yet. I have a few things to finish. That's cool. I dig it. I dig it. Let's get a love message for each of you. And then we'll say goodbye. I'll be doing air signs. Aries, please. Alright, I guess I have to. Pay attention to the red flags, Aries. Which I already kind of picked that up anyways. Because someone needs to have a heart-to-heart -heart connection. I meant conversation because things have not been openly um, expressed about plans. Uh, maybe trying to come back. You know, things are being hush-hush. But you can feel it right here. Separation. You guys are separated. There is a person trying to sneak back up in here, like we said, okay? So things really have to come out in the open. You can't take half-hearted, half-assed excuses. What happened? Why? Are they still here? Are we still going to do this? Are we still going to do that? We can't have that. We can't have that anymore. I would like to this be the last try. I'm done. All right. Leo, 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 Leo. We have retreat. This could be the one, but they're lying. Kind of what we picked up anyways, right? It's not ready. You guys have addictions that not been dealt with. Lie. Okay. Someone is wearing a false mask about who they are. And even though they could be the one, you both need to disconnect and get better. Sagittarius. Codependency. I think that's that person over there trying to get your attention because they see you do so well with like your money. Okay. Honeymoon. Yeah, I was seeing that you were going to go on a trip. You were going to go on a trip for sure. Something is calling your name with the chemistry. Okay. There's a strong magnetic attraction that's pulling you even though you're focused on your finances and just being stable by yourself. Um, you don't want to become codependent on another person. You don't want someone's codependent on you. You kind of just want to be open and free, and I think that's very cool. It does signify you as a whole. Um, and while you feel that magnetic attraction, you're trying to keep it free-flowing. I totally dig that. Appreciate that. All right, my loves. I'm going to catch you later. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. Happy Valentine's Day.